while videoing i saw the sheep and they are just cruising enjoying themselves so nice so nice so nice so nice okay so let me just try and uh, see whether this is fantabulous it has different layers so i will just take the major layers Say something about where I'm from. Oh, so, where do you think I'm from? They are Malaysians. Yes. US. Wow. Do I speak English like US? Where again? No US. Not US. Jamaica. Hey, Jamaica. Brazil. Brazil, no. Nigeria. Nigeria. How are you? Hi. Thank you so much. Wonderful people. Hello. I love Malaysia. Thank Do you? you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. So yes, I saw those beautiful people and um, they are just so friendly. I don't know where I'm going now, but let's just go and see maybe. Okay. Okay. So where did we bust out? We bust out now. Oh. Okay, Saint Paul, Bukit Saint Paul. Okay. Character there. Yeah, it's somebody they call Jack Sparrow. Unfortunately, I don't really know the movie character very well, but many people were telling me, ah, Jack Sparrow, Jack Sparrow. So there's somebody like that I saw here. I don't know whether you can cite him, and people are taking pictures with him and all that. So yeah, those of you that know, comment down below if you know Jack Sparrow. And uh, let, let me go a little bit closer so that maybe I could get a better capture. Unfortunately, rain is already falling. And Malaysia, as you know, I'm with my umbrella. It's like, uh, what do you call it? It's like my passport. You must always have your umbrella. You get the point? Yeah, so that's Jack Sparrow there. Can you see him clearly? Yes. Okay. So, uh, the next side is actually the the boat, right? I think that would be a video on its own. Maybe I'll come tomorrow evening to try the boat, right? I must do that before leaving Malacca, definitely. I just show you guys the tips of the iBox. <laughs> or eyes of the iceberg. I don't know which one. Let me show you. So I'm right in front of the of the water side. Can you see? So hopefully I will come here to take the boat ride. Yes, so that you can have a clear view. And this is quite a lot I, The boat just passed. I missed it, but yeah, probably I will get another one because I want to go and eat somewhere there. So have a look at the sea. Take a look at the marvelousness of the sea. If my camera falls inside this water, there's problem. Oh. <laughs> Let me just take you towards this the seaside itself. So. Ah, Melaka Malay Sultanate Water Wheel. The Melaka River is the site of origin that witnessed the birth of the Melaka port during the Melaka Sultanate. It serves as the international port for both the East and West, including Southeast Asia, China, India, and Europe during the 15th and 16th centuries. Wow, what a fantabulous history. So you guys can see. So basically this place was actually uh, the Melaka port, right? So I think those people coming from Portuguese and all that, they actually pass through this water. And the water is so large, and I was showing you guys from that side, you could see how large it is. And yes, this is the boat, that's the boat there, you can actually use the boat. Uh, uh, it's actually a tourist, tourist activity, I think. You can use it and do a cruise, a boat cruise. But I'm not sure I'm doing that today. Maybe I'm going to come and do this tomorrow. So stay tuned for the next video. One eternity later.
Okay guys, um, back again. Actually just uh, very close to the Junker Street there, there's another uh, site here. It's a walkthrough and um, I could see some things far there but I don't really know so I want to go around that side and it also covers and spans that red, the red streets, okay, the red color street, the church there, the big church there. I would love to check it out and also go down, down, down. So. That would be it for this particular content. So if you are interested, make sure you keep watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you are new to the channel, ensure you subscribe. And yeah, let's start. Okay. So yeah, these streets, I will just walk around and turn around that side. So this is where the, this part of the seaside, where the boat usually cruise. Okay. Goes like 360 round. And um, yeah, this place looks so photogenic. You can see people taking their photos there. Oh, how are you? <laughs> you can see people taking their photos there and it looks very colorful to take some shots. So it would be good to actually take some pictures here. So let me just go. I don't know where, I don't know where those, uh, the girls are. Let's try. Okay, I just love the, I just love the, uh, colorfulness of the place. Oh, you can dine here or something. I think there's a cafe here or so. So you can see it's just for pictures. Just for pictures, just for pictures, just for pictures. And they are making good use of the opportunity, really. Uh, I love the streets. Is it cinnamon or what? I don't really know. It looks quite new. As you can see, actually planted by Yab Datsuk Siri, I R H J E trees. So long name, being H J Aaron, <laughs> Chief Minister of Melaka and uh, Mr. Zhu uh, Sionda, Governor of Guangdong Province, 19 September 2015. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, did I try? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, bye bye. Okay. So it's good to have fun in this place, you know. People are just taking pictures. How are you? Thank you so much. Sorry. People are oh, this people are started taking their pictures again. Okay, this is a cafe actually. Uh, it's called a 1405 uh, Art Cafe. Uh, if you want to take your food and all those things, you can actually enjoy. So this place is for photography, basically. If you want a professional photography, you can actually uh, come here the street is a little bit long we proceed so while videoing i saw the ship and they are just cruising enjoying themselves so nice so nice so nice so nice wonderful fantabulous can you see how things move on that side very good very good great experiences may this camera not fall into the water Okay, so you just enjoy the beautiful flowers. I love the way the flowers are so beautiful. And yeah. Just come here for a walk and enjoy yourself. You will enjoy yourself in the cool evening. attraction is actually that side but I just had to walk through this place with you guys you get a point you get a point so what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this place do you like it actually you can do exercise here and man, you will know that you have done exercise so there is a bridge here for easy navigation to cross over to the other side that's what we are going to do now we cross over from this bridge, so they make the navigation very easy for travelers and viewers and wanderers. Guys, I've been showing you around, around, and around. So what do you think? I want to know in the comment section below, what is your thoughts about Melaka? To me, I think Melaka is the uh, one of the most historical states in Malaysia because especially from that museum where I went to, a lot of history about uh, Malaysia here. I can hear the dog barking critically. 
uh, luckily I won't be going towards that side so yes it's just a lot of history a lot of beautiful places for tourists basically it's like a tourist state okay it's like a tourist attraction state are you getting it now so we will be going towards the church side that church is so big and it's quite beautiful so I think a lot of uh, history to learn from that church so let's just let's just go and I can hear the dog is barking how are you bingo bingo is barking critically yes so let's um let's keep moving on the street of Melaka I think it's, it's an interesting thing to do you know just a walk through and of course walking is good for the body you have the exercise the city is so neat oh I love the sound of the birds simultaneously the birds are giving us an harmonious uh what do you call it very nice you know harmonious sound they're having fun enjoying themselves since they are going back home after the day and see them flying harmoniously giving a wondrous song of praise beautiful right you guys should let me know as i said in the comment section what do you think do you like these places have you come to Melaka before? Are you planning to come? Is this video motivating you to actually travel down to Melaka? Let me know. I would love to know. Okay, this is a church, but this is not the one I'm going to. Built 1849, Church of St. Francis. Huh? St. Via or something. Built 1849. There are some history here. I don't know. Tapak Bastion. Bastion Victoria site. I don't know if they have closed. I don't know what is really here. Let me see. Uh, archaeological research of the fort of Malacca, Bastin, Victoria. Okay. Who knows about this? Please comment down below. Let's keep going. I love all this reddish kind of uh, streets. You understand? The red stuff is quite uh, beautiful for me. It's quite photogenic. You take your photos. You can see the streets are active. I hope I'm not going back to the the other side. I actually want to come out of the church side. So this is just walking the streets of Malacca. They have this kind of cultural historical colors on their street, not like the normal conventional ones, if you know what I'm talking about. And it gives it some kind of uh, difference and uniqueness. So let's just keep going. I think we will bust out. Okay, yes, I think I'm correct. We're coming out of the church so this like red area everything here is red 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 and red okay so yes finally i think i've come to the front of this church side so here is the church there's an history attached to this church actually okay this is malaysia youth museum let's check malaysia youth museum museum belia Malaysia, but well, I think it should be closed by now. Most of the museums close by five. Okay, and beside that museum, beside the museum is just the church. Okay, so let's go and see what is the history attached to that church. I really want to know. And I want you guys to also know. The Christ Church Malacca. I think it should be the first church. Christ Church Malacca, can you see? And that was what? 1758. Wow. Can you see? 1758 how are you i see yes this this video eh? video live yes no no for youtube for youtube yeah. oh you from, you're from where from where i come or my country your country nigeria, nigeria. africa yes you put in your youtube yes okay good luck thank, thank you so you. much all right <laughs> so those people are just very nice they just uh everybody here is friendly really i've noticed that so let's quickly cross down before it's too dark and we may not be able to get a good capture again. Christ Church Melaka. And yeah, there's always some people giving you beautiful music. Oh, this is fantabulous, guys. What do you think? The water fountain. The water fountain. Look at it. Just look at it. So this church, I think, is the first church in Malaysia, if I'm not mistaken. It has a quite a big history. So guys, yeah, this Christ Church was built by the Dutch when they took possession of Malacca from the Portuguese and it's actually one of Malacca's most defining structures. It is situated around Jalan Jerega, Jere, Jereja, also known as Church Street and it is instantly recognizable with its brick red 
building with a huge white cross at the top it's a beautiful church and uh, yeah it was built in 1753 to celebrate a century of dutch occupation indeed i think you will love to come here to learn more about this beautiful christ church in malacca so this is that thing that many people like coming here to take shots here because it's us i love malacca and do you think i will also take a shot here why not i have to <laughs> i have to take a shot here people come here and take pictures and i think that's all about this place and yes the cats if you book the cat it comes around it also gets to this place so yes guys that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it i will just take some pictures here and that will be all for this video of course the church is closed it can't be open at this time it's closed at the moment so i hope you guys have enjoyed this other episode again what else is in uh, malacca i'm going to try and check so thank you very much Okay, guys, so this is what you call sandal, okay, and uh, it's just five ringgit. Actually, it's very cheap if you ask me. So I want to try it now and see how uh, it tastes. Some of you told me that the sandal in Melaka is actually authentic. So I want to try it now to be very sure if it's authentic. Thank you very much. <laughs> As different layers, so I will just take the major layers. Yeah, this one looks like spaghetti. I wonder. Mm -hmm. Let's try it now. One, two. Mm -hmm. Fantabulous.